I haven't done one of these videos in a very long time, so forgive me if I mess up. But how's it going, everybody? It's your boy, Nick Smith, NBA, back with another video. It's been a long damn time, but if you saw my last video, you know where I've been. If you haven't watched it, link in the description. But we back. Uh, we're going to talk about the Jimmy Butler trade. It's pretty big. For the 76ers, they get Jimmy Butler, one of the best small forwards in the NBA. Shooting guard, small forward, wherever he plays. Then you've got the Timberwolves who, yeah, it's disappointing that it didn't turn out. But at least it gives them a fresh start. Wiggins, he's not, definitely not as good as I thought he was going to be. But in saying that, who knows? Some players can thrive when other players leave and maybe this time it's Andrew Wiggins. Probably not. But Carl Anthony Towns is someone that I think can thrive without Jimmy Butler. And I don't mean winning wise in terms of their record, but in terms of the stats, I think Carl Anthony Towns can, uh, can step it up a little bit. The fact that they did get two decent players is actually a lot better than a lot of people are saying because Covington is arguably as good as Jimmy Butler on the defensive side. Okay? I'm not saying offensively, but defensively, Robert Covington is one of the best defensive players in the NBA. And at that position, you don't find too many guys who do the same thing that Jimmy Butler does each and every night. And Robert Covington does do that. But Robert Covington does lack on the offensive end, which I guess in a way can free up more shots for Andrew Wiggins. Not that he needs them, but that he will get them and Carl Anthony Towns. Derrick Rose is someone that could also benefit with the loss of Jimmy Butler. That just means more touches for Derrick Rose, who has been playing really, really well at the moment. And it's awesome to see. Let's be honest. It is like, it's pretty fucking awesome. Sorry for the language, everybody. But it's awesome to see it. Dario Saric is another guy that, you know, he's okay, he's decent, he's a good fit for the Timberwolves. He can stretch the floor, hit threes, grab a few rebounds, he's just good, like he's just solid. So for what they got, the Timberwolves have actually done decent. They could have had Josh Richardson and Bam Adebayo at the start of the year for the Miami Heat. But obviously that didn't happen, no one knew how well Josh Richardson would play and once he started killing it at the start of the year, then Miami was like, we're not going to trade the man and he has been balling out for the heat. You know, he's played really well if you haven't really watched Josh Richardson this year. So, good on Miami for sticking with Jay Rich, but at the same time, you could have had Jimmy Butler. If you're the Houston Rockets, it's a weird one. You're losing Carmelo Anthony most likely. You're not the same team as last year. You lost Trevor Reza, which was huge defensively. Jimmy Butler could have filled that void, but the Timberwolves probably get more than four first round picks. Rob Covington, Dario Saric, or four first round Houston Rocket picks. Either way, it's not bad, but I think the Timberwolves deal is actually probably more beneficial for them. I guess I'm trying to say that it's really hard to replace a guy like Jimmy Butler. It's really hard to replace an all-star caliber player in any team. So for what the Timberwolves got in return, it kind of helps them because it allows them to build around Carl Anthony Towns, which is probably what they're gonna try and do now. He's the main guy, that's what they're gonna build around. They're never going they were never gonna get another all-star caliber player like Jimmy Butler for Jimmy Butler, so you might as well just get pieces to fit around Towns, and that's exactly what they've done. So I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's too great either. I think it's just, it's all right. As for the Philadelphia 76ers, they get one of the best players in the NBA. You fit Jimmy Butler, who is not a great three-point shooter, but when he's left wide open, he's gonna hit him. Ben Simmons, he loves to feed the ball out. You've got JJ Redick. Dario Saric is actually a big loss. I'm not even gonna lie. If you watch Philadelphia, you know that Dario Saric is actually a very important piece to what they do just because he can hit the three and obviously if you have Ben Simmons a guy who can't shoot at all you need spacing so that's actually a little bit of a worry but then again you can easily replace a guy like Darius Sarge and you get Jimmy Butler so it evens out but Ben Simmons mixed with Jimmy Butler and Joel Embiid who in my opinion is the best center in the league at this point and I'm not counting Anthony Davis as a center yes he is playing center this year but for most of his career he's been a power forward and even so, Embiid this year, 
he's almost arguably playing as well as Anthony Davis, if not better. So, Joel Embiid is the best big man. Defensively, he is playing very, very well. Offensively is where he shines. It's going to be interesting. When you're talking about the Eastern Conference, there's obviously four main teams, the Raptors, the Celtics, the Bucks, and now you throw in Philadelphia. And obviously, Markel Fultz is a little iffy at this point, but if he can somehow turn it around mid-season, play like a six-man... <laughs> the East is looking very good, that's what I'm trying to say. And Jimmy Butler, I think he's going to compliment the Philadelphia 76ers very well. I also want to say that, obviously, Jimmy Butler didn't work out in mentoring Towns and Wiggins. We all know how that escalated. But I think it's a little bit different with Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid. Embiid is a personality, and Ben Simmons really, really wants to work hard. Now, I know Wiggins does, and I don't know them personally, but I just know that Ben Simmons, he's already trained with guys like LeBron James. He's trained with, you know, NBA stars already. I think he can definitely train as hard as anyone, and Jimmy Butler is going to love that. It's hard to tell at this point because we haven't seen them play, but obviously this is at first glance. Both teams have done very well. The 76ers have done extremely well. They replaced Robert Covington with a guy who's way better offensively. And then it's not too hard to replace Dario Saric. So offensively, the 76ers improved by a ton. Defensively, they don't lose. So it's a win for the Philadelphia 76ers. And for the Timberwolves, they get something that they need. They need to build around Carl Anthony Towns and they were going to lose Jimmy Butler anyway. It's a bit iffy for the Timberwolves, but some things like this can sometimes work out. You don't always need an all-star for an all-star. And with that said, if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Now you've got a pillow, alright? You know when you've got a pillow, it's important, alright? Hit that subscribe button, leave a like if you're new subscribed. Turn on notifications so you don't miss a video because YouTube is probably not going to, you know, promote my videos since I've been away for a very long time, so hit that notification bell. And just before we end off, I do want to say thank you guys so much for all your support on the last video. It actually really does mean a lot to me. Obviously, there's not a whole lot we can do about it, but just your support um, was amazing, especially first video back. It's been that long, so I just really, really want to thank you guys for all the support. And uh, secondly, check out the song that was played in the background of this video. I'll put a Spotify link down below in the description box below. Check the song out. It is such a banger. My friend, she sang the song, so I'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. Um, it's, it's, it's actually so good. And uh, yeah, I don't know what to tell you. I'd say it's a good song. Guys. Check it out. All right. Anyway, thanks for the support. Um, if you guys check out the song, I appreciate that. If you guys enjoy the video, I appreciate that. And yeah, just a huge thank you on the last video. It, it actually really does mean a lot to me. Because, um, you know, it's been a long time since I've made a video. And just your support in coming back. And uh, everyone was, yeah, just showing a lot of love. So, I appreciate that. And uh, yeah, it's been your boy Nick Smith. New videos coming out soon. So. I can always